Good morning and like to say thank you to all veterans, all those who have served in our military forces. Uh, this is your day. Uh, many have sacrificed uh, time years away from family, uh, sacrificed their lives, and uh, many have seen and lost brothers out on the battlefield. And we want to thank you and show our appreciation from the Arlington Baptist Church and hope that this uh, video is a small token of what we can do for veterans. The title of this video is How to Honor Your Father on Veterans Day. Uh, my dad served in the U.S. Army for about eight years in his early 20s. Uh, just five years ago, the picture is right behind me, uh, he passed away from kidney cancer. Uh, we miss him and we, we love him and uh, as a son, I want to do everything I can to please my father. Um, before he left, he said specific things to me that he wanted me to do. And as a son, it's my desire to fulfill those things. And uh, this video is just a little, a little help on how we can honor our father on Veterans Day. And I just have two points, I won't be long, but number one I wrote here to submit to my authority. Uh, the Bible says to obey them that have the rule over you. Uh, I think of an army man, a marine, a navy, a seal, whoever uh, it is, they have to submit to their commanding officer. And you know, as a Christian, as a son of God, or a, 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 as a child of God, uh, we, are, we have a commanding officer, and that's Jesus Christ. That is God Almighty. And it's our duty to submit to His, to his authority, to whatever He calls me to do. Though it may not be what I might want, if God calls me to do it, I must obey. As Jesus went to Calvary, he said the words, Not my will, but thine be done. Jesus set the perfect example a Christian ought to live by. Though it may not be our will, if God calls us, if God calls you to do something specifically, it is our duty, our obligation to obey his command, to submit to our authority. And you know the greatest thing about that? God is powerful. God knows everything. He's a sovereign God and he will protect you, lead you, and guide you each step of your way. And our job is to submit to his authority. And number two, how we can honor our Father on Veterans Day is to please the Father in all that we do. The Bible says in 3 John chapter 1, uh, verse, uh, or 3 John verse number 4, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. You know, as my father looks from heaven above, I hope that he sees me walking in truth. I hope that he sees uh, his friends, his family walking in truth. And that's how we can honor our, fa our father, uh, to please our heavenly father uh, in our thoughts, in our actions, in wherever, in decisions we make that we would be pleasing to our Heavenly Father. And veterans, uh, we wanna say thank you so much again. And as we walk away from this day, thinking of those who have served for our military forces, be sure to show your appreciation, but be sure to find ways that you can honor. And I believe you can honor by submitting to your authority and pleasing the Father in all that we do. Happy Veterans Day and God bless America.